Okay. We're here. We're queer. We're something, something else that rhymes. Yeah, that's right. I do this for a job. Just make sure I'm actually showing up. Because I think my stream's a little behind where I'm at. Wash, wash. Let's fucking go, bro. So it's a very annoying Wednesday. But we're out here. I got grapes to make sure that I don't forget to eat. Because I have a terrible habit of doing that. I have water. And in a big old cup. Ah, lovely. Got to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Hydro homies. Oh, Parappa's in the chat. Wesh. Yeah, we're hoping to get a little weshy today as well. Be on the wesh. I have with me here this. You know, just to keep me um, nice and cool because it's quite cold. I got it from the fridge. It is apparently the king of beers. How are we today? Your last Insta post is hot. I'm glad you like it. Love to see. I am sus, baby. You know it. How are you today, shithead? Thank you for coming back to my live, dude. I appreciate that you had so much fun last time. But you came back. That means uh, a lot. It means a lot to me. It's nice. We've got Parappa, one of my, my Twitch bros in the chat. Uh, Lindex, hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Big Blue House. And thank you, Corinna, for what you said about enjoying my music. Got into it two years ago. Well, I'm glad because you'll be like one of the first of my babies. I haven't decided what I should call my fans yet. Uh, someone here said houseplants last time and I kind of liked that. But then part of me is also like, I don't know. Houseplants are scary. There's so much responsibility there, you know. I love your song in FIFA. Thank you so much, Hugo. Enjoy yourself. I hope you enjoy playing with your friends. And I hope you enjoy listening to me while you play with your friends. That's really cool. Because I know that you do keep me washy when times are grey. Hi, Appa. Nice to see you. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, so we chilling. We chilling like a villain. We're going to try and catch this grape in our mouth. Our collective mouth. You know, we are as one. We suck, we can't do it. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, okay, one more, one more. Second time's the charm, bro. Yes! Yes! So hard not to dab. I need to stop dabbing. Dabbing died a long time ago. Dabbing died in 2016. What up? What up? Life is Gucci. Life is good. Life is good. You know how it is. Getting messages from a producer. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sorry, work stuff. Work. She got work. You guys ever heard that song? It's a good song. Isn't it funny how, like, words change with context? Not really. That's just how. That's why it's good for Winston. Praise Winston. Praise be to Winston. Dabbing is very wesh. I don't know, is it? Is that Ben? Hi, Ben. Yeah, it's good for you all being here. Good for you all. It's good for you all. It's good for you in the sense of medically physically spiritually emotionally it's good for you to be here because if you weren't here where would you be probably like doing crack under a bridge somewhere right so the fact that you're here with me is just great for you but regardless of whether you're having bridge times or not life is good um i'm going to be do any of you play fortnite so I'm about to be all up in your ears in Fortnite, bro. 
I'm about to be all up in your ears. I can't wait for my little cousins to know this. To hear about this and shit. Oh, thank you for asking how I'm doing, Bem. I know why, but I want to buy you Skittles for some reason. I love Skittles. Um, I'm doing well today, Ben. I've been out and got the sun. I've been swimming. Oh, you gotta go, fuck's sake. That's okay. Thank you for dropping in. Any time is good time, you know? Um, I'm from Iraq, do you know? I didn't know that. And I'm not gonna do crap. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. How's your day going, Ben? Hugo, I think I do know now. How's your day going, Hugo? Are we having good days? Are we having bad days, guys? Are we having... Eh, life is okay days. Those are my favorite days, weirdly. The best days are the days where you're just kicking it. You know? You're kicking it and you're just like... Ah. Shit's good. Good time in my life, you know? That's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we ever want. You know, just straight easy vibes I'm a Fortnite child now guys I'm a Fortnite child now I'm gonna start asking you if you have games on your phone you know new EP no new single is coming out in three days Three days. If you want to get on that shit, if you have Spotify, there's a link in my bio. Go follow me on Spotify, and then when that comes out, you'll be the first on that shit. You know, you're the first to know all the shit that everybody wants to know. Which is good. That's too many grapes. There's too many grapes inside of me. I don't want any more grapes. Okay. I won't eat any more grapes. I need a washy new EP or album. Just enjoy a single. Be grateful for what you get. Jesus Christ. All things in good time. Do you have games on your phone? No. I used to like hang out with my cousin, little cousins, and we play like iPad games together. It was cute. Good bonding time. They tried to get me into Minecraft, which now I love. Um, but then I could only see it as like Legos. Which it kind of is, but I fucking love Legos. So why the hell would I not want to play Legos online, but with fighting? Was I a dumbass? Yes. New technology is good technology, but not always, but sometimes. Sometimes. New technology is usually good technology, and then it gets corrupted in like a year by like the brand. You feel me? But life is pretty damn something, isn't it? It's just pretty damn something sometimes. Just great times. Minecraft with friends is the best. Yeah, Corinna, it is. I actually have a Minecraft uh, realm. If you want to join us, um, we play sometimes on my twitch channel um and like yeah we just do a lot of dumb shit right now i'm doing like my first ever ender dragon i've never really done the ender dragon mission so i'm doing that mission um it took me a while to just figure out how to like not to kill things and to build a house and not die every 10 seconds and build a bed because i did it with like no instructions or tutorial i just went in which is really funny actually i think my like uh Viewers really enjoyed watching that. You are the coolest. You are sorely mistaken, my friend. If you've come here for cool, you are in the wrong place, buddy. You're in the wrong place. I am... Thank you, though. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you. I appreciate you. 
I play on Java, not Xbox. Why are you all don't make song? I'm making songs, bro. There's a song coming out in three days. Three days, baby. Three days. I have a new song out called Tank Girl. Tank Girl. You guys know who Tank Girl is? Tank Girl's a really cool comic book character, but it's actually based on my friend Faye, who happens to look quite a bit like Tank Girl. Like, very similar to Tank Girl. And I love her. Blow my heart. Where can I find the realm server? If you, d well, it depends. Do you play on Java, Karina? Karina Babina is really fun to say, by the way. Because I can just add you if you give me your username. As long as you promise to respect the realm, obviously. Because it's a, it's a nice realm. It's fucking hot today, bro. I'm fucking boiling. Sorry to swear, but Jesus. Hi, Amy. You can look and listen endlessly. I like that. That's almost like the beginning of a poem. You can look and listen endlessly. In silent dreams you peep. But often you will find that you'll never get to sleep. Yeah, I play Java. Drop your username in the chat, girl. Drop your username in the chat. What series do you watch at the moment? It says Lindex. Um, I'm re-watching Steins Gate, the anime. I loved it so much when I first watched it in like, oh, I was still like a teenage, like early teens then. I, I, and it holds up, you know. There is this one corny ass line in it though where the girl's like, the theory of relativity is so romantic. And I used to love that quote when I was little and now I'm older, I'm like, that's kind of lame. Um, what else am I watching? I'm not really watching any series at the moment, you know? I'm not like working through anything. I'd appreciate some suggestions. There's not much I'm really like intrigued by right now, you know? So I guess I would appreciate some suggestions, yeah. That would be cool. How are you? It's been a bit. I'm good, ma'am. I'm pretty good. Tiger Lily 04. Okay, I'll add you now. Yeah, we play Minecraft sometimes, it's fun. But you probably want to follow me on Twitch for that, just because like that's where I tend to play games. I might start playing games on here, but um I wanna try and upload more like fully edited videos to here. I don't really have the attention span to edit fucking anything except for like big projects right now, but I could. I could have that attention span one day. I could. Probably be in my best interest too, I suppose. And yet. Alright, she needs to take off my trousers because Jesus fucking Christ. I'm boiling. Boiling, boiling, hot boiling. So boiling. Yeah, that's better. The horse shrine's looking poggers. I don't know if I like it, you know. I might get rid of it. I don't know about the horse shrine. I really want to play Fortnite while my song's on the radio and go on voice chat. And I've never played it before, so it'd be really funny because um, people can be really mean uh, when you don't know what you're doing, which I think could be kind of jokes. Um, you all know I'm a terrible troll beta, so gets me in some trouble sometimes. I just find it funny. Um, right, Tiger Lily 04. I go for okay. That's a good name. You invited. Yeah, I'll show you guys my realm. Maybe you'll like that. I don't know. I play Minecraft on Java too. Well, Lindex, you're welcome, but you have to be respectful of the server. Shira on Netflix. Yeah, I've never seen Shira. I've heard good things about it. Apparently, it's like lesbian or some shit. Which like, 
I don't know. I need to watch that and shoot Steven Universe. Like, I've been put off them, and I don't know why. I probably would really like both of them. You know? Probably. Yeah, we need hello twitch bros yeah hi twitch bros everybody hey rodriguez how you doing bro we need you to show your room i can show you my sheets my bed sheets are cool but honestly my room's a little messy right now i could do with like just a quick whip round probably take me like 10 minutes but one day i could give you guys a room tour that could be a cute thing to do for a video it's a good idea hugo I don't want to say that just in case it's like some sort of meme that I don't understand. If you give me more context about what it's for, maybe I can say it. It's just a good idea to not just say whatever on the internet though, you know? I hope you respect that. But yeah, so we got all sorts going on. The main thing being that, um... I have this new song coming out in three days. Um, and I'm excited about it. I think it's a nice, a more experimental step forward, which is what I want right now, is just to do something with like slightly less of a formulaic pop vibe, slightly more of a, just more interesting, you know? And um, hopefully it will hit the ears in a new way. Corinna Bobina, I know it's so hard to stop saying, right, Amy? She writes good. It's representation of some queer folks. Pog. Yeah. All right, Pog. Give me a few grapes. Okay. I will shoot them through the screen at you. You've got a master's degree in ICB. I don't know what that means. If you need like anime, you need to watch Kill the Kill. I've seen Kill the Kill. It's pretty good. Uh, I got kind of bored of it because I just it was just watching her like fight. I don't know, there's like a certain type of sh shonen fighting that I find really like repetitive and it's when they don't really give you any like clue of what the character's like power levels are, it just feels like and you just know the main character's gonna win every time, you know? It's kind of boring. Animation's cool though. Stop, bro! Stop! <laughs> Okay. There we go. Fuck's sake. This is the least relaxing drink I've ever had in my life. Why? Is it because of the heat? Is it because of the heat? I keep thinking if I drink it off, it'll stop rising. Stop rising. You're meant to be a nice relaxing treat for me. Ugh. Okay, we're good now. Okay, now I'm getting pissed off because like, look at this shit. What? Do I have to drink half of this thing just to get it to stop? I'm just gonna wait. As long as it doesn't tip over the top, I don't have to do shit. Don't tip over the top. Don't tip over the top. Don't tip over the top. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. It clearly just wants you to down it. You know, I'm Muslim. I didn't know that. So you don't drink then. I am very drunk. We could all be drunker. Unless your faith says, I don't wanna drink, or you just personally say you don't wanna drink, then you don't have to be drunker. Have a nice drunk. Thank you. It's stopped now. I feel like that's a good sign. You should watch Castlevania. I have been recommended that by Huxley. I should check it out.
My dad had a Wing Chun instructor who was converted to Islam. And he was really nice, but he like couldn't touch women. Like he couldn't go hand to hand with them and shit. So I couldn't learn from him. Which like is kind of an annoying law, but like I respect that choice if it is your choice. As long as you treat your wife well and you treat like the people in your life well, then that's fine. Um, is that wine? No, it's Budweiser. I don't drink wine. I don't like wine drunk. It's gross. It weirds me out. I hate that when people drink red wine, they get like lip lip and and teeth. Like red stains. It's gross. And then white is too sugary, so. Yeah, my favorite drinks are probably whiskey, scotch, and beer. Um, they just work best for me. And white claws. I love white claws. Um, but... You know, I only really drink in moderation. Uh, you know, I don't drink a lot of the time. Which is quite unusual for Britain. Like, British people tend to, like, they can casually drink every day and no one really cares. Um, maybe have a nice vibe in Minecraft. Yeah, it's really fun. I'll tell you what I really like is, like, I can play with people who, like, vibe with my music online in like a virtual space and i find that so fun and also like my minecraft buddies the ones that like come regularly like amy amadeus are like genuinely just like friends to me now like i get on with them so well you know <laughs> they're so funny both of them fucking crazy though <laughs> do you like ciders i don't think your english is bad i think your english is great i can't speak any other languages I, I think it's very admirable. Um, do you like ciders? I used to like ciders, but then I started drinking them all the time after I had one at a festival, and I was like, this is a drink for the summer. So every summer I drink like a horrible amount of cider because I was like a teenager and I didn't have good impulse control. <laughs> it ruined cider for me 100%. Oh yeah, I can't really drink it anymore. Um, I can have a sip of someone else's sometimes, but... Not a lot, though, no. Yeah, I'm a Fortnite child now, guys. For anyone who just arrived, I'm in Fortnite. I really want to play Fortnite. I think doing a Fortnite stream when I can't play Fortnite would be really funny. Uh, I think speaking to people in Fortnite and telling them it's my music would be really funny because they would get... I can just tell because if I play on their team and I'm trash, they're already going to be angry. So I think it'd be quite a fun time. But I need to delete so much stuff off my computer to be able to play, like, 70 GBs worth of, like, stuff. <laughs> And then it's going to fill up my whole laptop. So it probably has to be like a once and delete kind of thing. Um, so I hope I don't start to really like it. Because that would be suck. You know? I really need to buy more space for my laptop. It's totally worth it. Let me just check my messages quickly. I think I got one. I didn't. I am a lonely, lonely lone. Oh, baby. Oh my god, please play Fortnite. You'd rage so hard. I can't. It would be so funny. Like, I, it would be so funny. Right? Did you happen to meet other artists that features in the FIFA soundtrack? I went to the FIFA launch. Like, you know how they have, like, a FIFA party? Whenever they launch a new game with, like, all the... They had all the cups there. And they had um, all the... Like, a cu bunch of footballers there. And I hate to tell you this, but, like, I don't really, like, fuck with football. Like, I kind of do. It's good, all right? It's all right. But I was in there, like, what the fuck is happening? But I ended up talking to the barbers all night. <laughs> yeah, I'd come there to, like, cut people's hair and do fades and shit, which is really funny. They, like, did my friend Josh, like, a haircut. And, um, yeah, that was cute. And, um, yeah, we, I ended up dancing with Diplo for a little bit. And, um, we were dancing to Major Laser. Because uh, they were playing, like Diplo and I thought Major, Major Lazer's Diplo and this other guy, and they were both playing. So I, I danced with both of them to to uh, Ponder Floor, which was like my favorite song when I was like 13, 14, was Ponder Floor. So I knew all the words, and they were like really impressed. It was cute. It was such a weird night though, because I, I didn't know what to expect, so I got really drunk before I got there with my friend Huxley, who's another artist. We get there, and, I'm, and we've already drank like a, 
like a half of like a quarter bottle of like rum and we're like fucked and i'm like well let's just throw this away and go in and hopefully this booze in there there was four th- free bars and there was so many people and i was like i i thought it would be something really small because obviously like fifa is a game that's primarily i would say for young people and so i made the mistake of thinking this was going to be a small event it was huge i was smashed it was great though had a great time how many gigabytes does your computer have it has like quite a lot um but like it's weird i don't know um not enough to store all the things i really need to get most of my stuff put on an external hard drive anyway um but like i don't trust myself like that i prefer to just have it all here but yeah, I need to like get rid of some documents and shit and uh, I don't know. I feel like iCloud shouldn't be stored on your computer. Like, can it not just be stored off of your computer? You know? But yeah. We should do that stream. I think it'd be really funny. People are gonna be pissed off at me. Especially when I'm like, oh yeah, that song you're hearing, that's like, boop, 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 that's me. <laughs> the, just the thought of it cracks me up. Like genuinely, just the thought of it cracks me up. Um, which headphones are these? These ones are really, really good for the price actually. Like I can use them to produce as long as I use uh, my speakers as well. Um, I don't know what they're called. I do not remember what they're called. Holy shit. I've totally forgotten what they're called. I'd watch. Yeah, right? It'd be funny. Thank you, Fresh Spring Water Boy. Fresh Spring Water Boy, what a lovely name. How is your day going? I hope it's fresh, springy, and full of water. Yes. I really do. <laughs> what are you drinking? That's the water. I jip on your bitch with a water. I splash on your bitch with a water. I feel like I'm 21 Savage. I pull up and fuck on your daughter. Wilder. Budweiser Queen. I'm also drinking a bud. Bud and some water. Water and some bud. It's a hot day. Please remember to keep yourself hydrated, guys, because that's important. Hydration, station, relation. <laughs> you know, as they say. Here in Britain, that's a phrase that we say. It's not a phrase we say. It just came out of my mouth. I apologize for lying. <laughs> I'm glad it's going well. I'm glad you're feeling good. That's nice to hear. Your username is really good to see. Hi, Ali GBXOXO. Thank you so much for popping into my stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big woo house. It's good to have you here. Um, I appreciate it. Appreciate your um, even just popping in and saying, what up? Hey. But yeah, we killing it. We killing, we chilling. I mean, like, it is exciting to be in more games. I think, you know, when my management asked me, they're great management, and, um, you know, they said to me, like, when we pitch your stuff to companies and stuff, like, what are your interests? And my biggest one was video games, and I'm really glad that it is, because that has been working out really well for me lately, um, and I feel really, like, happy about it, because, like, my biggest um, want in life is to be in the GTA soundtrack, or on GTA radio or something. Like, my biggest ever dream would be to curate a whole radio station on GTA. Like, I would prefer to do that than win a Grammy. So, yeah, if you guys want to tell them and make it happen, just tag me in, like, everything Rockstar Games related and just be like, bitch, make Susie's dreams come true, bitch. Say it just like that. Um, what song are they putting into Fortnite? Highway, highway, my way or the highway. Go Minecraft, it's so chill, create a world, what we want. I, I will, I will do that. If you follow me on Twitch, that's where I usually Minecraft. We can Minecraft together, I can get your username, I can write you down, it'll be a good old time. Or if you don't want to do that, you can always come on my Discord. I should really put a link for that in my bio. I'm nervous about putting my Discord on YouTube though, because we had a Discord raid that was so bad recently, and um, I'm trying to like, uh like stop that from happening you know because it made all my like i love my discord but it made all my discord people so scared to speak to each other 
That makes me sad. Host a GTA station like Cara Delevingne did. More like Snoop Dogg did. Like, Snoop Dogg had his own one. Flying Lotus had his own one. And they basically made, like, a really long DJ mix with, like, skits in them and, like, radio presenters mixed with their music, other people's music. music. Some of them, it was just music they fucked with. Some of them, it was only their own music. And, um, yeah, it's really, really cool. It's basically, like, doing the ultimate DJ mix, you know? Uh, which song are you the most proud of or vibe with the most? As I get older, I begin to be proud of all of them. Um, but I vibe, the one I vibe with the most is probably, um, I can still bang out, eat them apples and not be like, ugh, I've listened to this a million times. And I have had it in my back pocket for a year before releasing it. And that's unusual for me. So probably eat them apples. Um, I also love taking care of, but I don't really listen to it anymore because I've heard it so many times, you know, and I have to like rehearse it for stuff and all sorts of stuff. So thank you for the two million on Spotify on Eat Them Apples, by the way. Much appreciated, guys. I really appreciate that. No one tells me that you're you that on Twitch if you start streaming and you're a girl, your entire message box will just be people being like, "Hey, do you want to chat off screen stream? Do you want what's your Amazon wish list? Like, let me give you loads of money." And then the next message is like, "To see your feet." <laughs> no one ever tells you that shit. What stuff are you guys listening to at the moment? Let me know. I like having you guys' suggestions too, as well as like my own and shit. Because that's how you learn. If I could give anyone like good advice, it would be like... It would be nice to get to like my actual page. Mm, okay, whatever. Grim Reaper is such a great song, by the way. I'm glad Grim Reaper is like important to me as someone who's had like trauma in their lives related to health stuff. And I think, you know, now because of the pandemic, everyone has a certain amount of like health related anxiety and health related trauma. So I feel like. It's interesting because like the amount of plays that song was getting went up significantly in the pandemic. Um, I'm curious about Declan McKenna's next album. Declan's a cool ass guy. Yeah, it's good to be like close with your with your stuff. You know, it's good to be close with your stuff. Been playing Dodo on repeat. I'm obsessed, obsessed with Doja Cat. I thought the obsession would like run out, you know, um, but it hasn't run out. I'm still obsessed with Doja Cat. Um, I'm as in love as I was before. I've been listening to a lot of Square Pusher lately. I'm, I'm afraid to say I don't know Square Pusher. Um, I will check them out. Unfortunately, I can't in this stream. Um, I think some of the music I was playing last stream basically meant that a lot of people in a lot of countries couldn't watch my last live stream. So this time, I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen. That there's no FBI on my ass, you know what it's like when the FBI be on your ass. Alright guys, I've got to pee, so give me a sec. Please stick around, um, if you can, I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. Don't you be going anywhere. Don't you go anywhere, you...
Okay. I'm back. I'm back, baby. Okay, what are we doing? We talk about video games, but just imagine one of your songs is included in the next Just Dance. I prefer if it was in like Dance Dance Revolution, probably. Ugly YouTube emotes, right? Like, damn, dude. I, some of the things about like, YouTube streaming is just not the one. Hi, Zahir, here. How you doing? That would be iconic, though. You guys ever play Dance Dance? That's just good. That's something I, I need to do soon is go to the arcade and just sweat it out on a Dance Dance machine, man. Do you ever plan on collabing with someone? Yeah. There's lots of people I want to collab with. I mean, I, like a lot of the projects that are coming out lately are my first collaborations that are like really being released. Like the next song that's coming out is with this these people called Dagger Six Six Six. I'll put you onto their shit because like they are going to blow up. They are fucking amazing. They're like a two girls in this like producing outfit from LA. And they've worked with like everybody. Young Baby Tay. They've worked with fucking all the hyper pop people. Like they're just dope. Um, and more importantly, me. But that's what's coming out next. So we perform in Brooklyn. Hey, baby! Hi. Thank you so much for coming to see me at Babies. That was one of my favorite, sh in fact, maybe my favorite show I've ever done, crowd-wise. You guys were so hype, hype, hype. And do you still stream on Twitch? I do. There's a link in bio to follow me there. I actually stream there more regularly. So if you guys want to, like, and I'm more myself on that platform. So if you want to see me, like, in a more Suzy light, that's a fun place to go. And... Yeah, we just, we do a lot of dumb shit that I cosplay. Um, when I, I'll probably do another outfit stream when I reach 1k. The last collab with Garly was dope. Thank you so much, Rodriguez. Yeah, I was pretty proud of that, that verse. Yeah, very cool as well. Um, yeah, so we got this next one coming out in three days, guys, three days. If you have Spotify, please do go follow me at the link below. Um... To, just so you're like aware of when that release comes out because if you're as forgetful as me like you will forget <laughs> um so that will just help you remember my life as a southern sat in south of france is like all my favorite artists only have concerts in paris leon when i don't know nantes not not nantes nante nante maybe pay for an artist that's a shame south of france is so beautiful though do you do you surf down there ever lindex Someone just said on my Instagram that the duality of women, this is quite an abstract comment, the duality of women is like sweet and sour pork. Susie, you're the epitome of that duality. <laughs> That's deep, bro. That's deep as fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does it even mean, though, for real? I'm so confused. I live in France, yes. Sweet. How did the berry collab come to be berry hit us up me and millie gully up um and she was just like you guys are dope i fuck with you will you be in my project and then i heard the song and i was like this song is fucking sick so i was like yes bro i'll be on this song like i love the chorus i love all of berry's verses i actually wish more of berry's verses were in the song you know um i think that would be like good and shit Cause like sh those those verses are just great. I would recommend listening to the the uh, original. Just curious, are you a graduate? No, I dropped out of high school at like 16, 17. That right there is immaculate poetry, right? That good shit. I'm glad we got our Russians in the chat. Nostrovia, Nostrovia guys. Can you guys tell me how to say cheers in all your different countries? I know in Japanese, Estonian, and English, and uh, Russian. I don't think I know it in French. Salut? I think it's salut.
but I don't know. Harder than you do. <sighs> In Spanish, it's salud. How do you say that? To pronounce. Find out. is brought to you by aims.com Salud. Salud. So same as salud. Salud. Will you sing the meat the apples for a few lines? No. No, I know. Greg's Orange County's new album is coming soon too. I watched Midsummer for the last night and I'm still thinking about it. I wanna watch Midsummer, bro. I mean there's a long history of like good movies about cults, right? I guess Hollywood would know what with Scientology and stuff. You feel me, Sean? Yeah, I do want to watch Midsummer. I was watching a bit of a video essay about it and I was like, huh, this is more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Doing some work stuff, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. Sorry, so much going on. I'm directing my first music video in like two weeks. I'm... The, it's the first time I'm directing. It's not my first music video. Um... I think you may be one of my favorite directors now. Yeah. I didn't know about Hereditary, you know. It just wasn't for me. Do you have another job outside of music? No. I'd like to start streaming as my second job though. I really enjoy talking to you all and like, I find it very fulfilling and also it means I get to nerd out again. I kind of stopped playing games the minute I got into like high school because I was at an all girls school and it was just a better choice for me to be like playing games online with with people, you know? I mean, I'm not playing games online. I'm not talking about games. Uh, because, you know, at the time it was just not not a cool interest to share with people. Um, Clyde, hi. Nice to see you, man. How you doing? What's up, Mr. Dan? What? Um, please say a bad word in Russian. I don't know any bad words in Russian. Unfortunately. Otherwise I might. 
Might, may perhaps do. Mayhaps. Mayhaps I will. But yeah, I don't know, bro. What's up, Mr. Dan? How you doing? Um, yeah, I'm not sure about Hereditary. I thought it was cool in a way, but I didn't think it was as original as people think it is. Um, do you have another job outside of music? No, but I, like I said, I do want streaming to be my job outside of music. I think it'd be fun, right? I like my hobbies being work. I, I enjoy that. You know, it is a little stressful when you monetize everything you do, but at the same time, I am the kind of person who likes to monetize everything I do. I'm, un I'm unusual in that sense. Um, you know, a little bit of stress is healthy for the soul. So, um, anything I can do to make my life more stressful, aka earn more money, um, that is fun, I will do. You know? I just don't see, you know, it's like when people say, when they're trying to start doing something new, a lot of people say to me, maybe they want to stream, maybe they have a, if they've got a cute face, cute personality. I've had a lot of people like that. And they're like, oh, I don't know if I can, because like, eh, it's, it's really hard. And I'm like, it's as hard as sitting in a corporate office job is. But I, I, you know, like, I will say that you have to be in a situation where either you're on assisted living or you have enough money already. Otherwise you can't do it because there's not enough time. So that is always the thing as well. Dude, you've got to plan a meet up when you visit Dubai. That'd be fun. I'd be down. I wonder if, when I will visit Dubai. I don't know. I don't really know much about Dubai. Except that my friend Laura is... Some of her family lives there. And she, she told me, like, you can go for drinks, like, near the desert. That sounds really beautiful. I just changed the water filter in the fridge. So the day is starting off off here. Good for you, Clyde. Good for you. Doing something. That's a tough task to do. Um, these are the kind of things that you know are the weird things that like change your day in your life even though they feel like a really like monotonous you know a minute they are like they change your day so good for you man i recently cleaned my shower glass for the first time since i moved in six months ago uh it still kind of needs another go over but it looks way better than it did and it feels good to look at it it really does i'm still getting on top of my cleaning and like sort of working out what works for me to keep things clean hi pigeon little pigeon you how you doing how old were you when you made your first songs i was five five years old i started writing basically daily and i didn't really stop writing daily until i was like until i got a manager i just didn't stop writing daily like i might have taken a week off now and again i might have had writer's block i think once one year i had writer's block for three months um yeah Honestly, I don't write as much as I used to because I had to take a break to really figure out what it was that I wanted to write. And I find writing songs now effortless. Um, but I do wish to put some more effort into it, if that makes sense. So I've started writing prose and poetry, um, but I don't write them as often as I would like. I want to get back into it more because I want to exercise those brain muscles more, if that makes sense. But I do little bits and pieces of writing. I always write a bit, but I'd like to write the way I used to write when I was a kid. I used to write... I'd write so much that I wouldn't even notice that it had been two or three hours, you know? And I'd fill up so many notebooks, and I still have all the notebooks from my first Teenage Witch album. I still have all of those. Um, there's about five or six, um, and then I think there's more of the next year as well. But yeah, I still have a couple notebooks in my drawer that I do write in, but they don't get filled up as quickly as they used to. Um, but my drawing ones get more full lately, I guess because when I have hobbies that are monetized, it becomes harder to do them every day. So now I start drawing, which is definitely not a monetized hobby. So that I can do more regularly, if that makes sense. Because just the habit and the action of picking up a pen and doing something will start you doing something else. And if you ever have writer's block or creative block, do something else you like that's creative because it will bring you out of your block way quicker, I find. Do any of you guys write or create anything? Hi, Profi Pusha. P -p 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 Pusha. What's your preferred writing format? Notes app, notebook, laptop. Definitely notes app. But like, I could, I could write on the laptop. But I, I mean, did I say notes app? I meant notebook. I don't really write in my notes app. Um, yeah, I mainly write in a notebook because it helps my thoughts free, free flow more. Um, you can scribble down things very quickly and it, it kind of helps my brain get into that mode of writing. 
Um, but then second will be laptop, and I usually use laptop only for prose, not really poetry. But I do write in my notes app as well, but it's like when I can't be bothered, or it's a small idea, you know? I also voice record a lot of stuff, but I never listen back to it, so it's kind of pointless, and hopefully one day I will, and I'll turn that into like an album. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. You know. I'm an artist, but I haven't really been drawing much lately. Art blog. Yeah, like I said, I would recommend... That's awesome that you're, you draw. I would recommend writing or animating or filming stuff. Editing that. It really, really helps me. I prefer writing my feelings in a poetry format rather than journaling. It's not good, but it's fun. I feel you. I still think of that the same way about my stuff. It's not good, but it's fun. I don't think that ever goes away. I just lost all my voice memories from the last five years. Oh, it's not the worst feeling. I know I had a really good, really sad song I'd written on my two phones ago. Yeah. Um, I wish there was better, like, um, like cloud voice app software. You know, kind of like Google Keep, but for voice notes. Same, I have recordings I never do anything with. Yeah, it's a shame. Even if I'm in a session, it really helps me remember a hook, though. If I'm, like, singing and then I'm like, fuck, it's going to take, like, 10 minutes for the producers to do something that they have to do. I'm like, oh shit, like I better sing this into this now, you know? So I do that a lot as well, and that's really fun. I love having sessions with producers that I like, you know? But when I have one with them, I don't, it's starting to really grind my gears. I think I've got better at um, not doing ones I don't like. Sorry, I'm just getting a call from Luxley. Yo! Wait, wait, I'm on live, I'm on live. But you're not on, you're not on speaker, but. <laughs> yeah, can I call you in like, have you finished work? Yeah, wait, I'm gonna go off live and talk to you about it quickly, because I do want to. Let me just uh, mute my mic.
Sorry about that. Oh, whole screen. We won't do that. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I'm back. I'm dying for the Cody, Cody, the COVID vaccine help. Bro, so was I. So badly. I made peace with it. It happens. Really, that's good. That's good. Ashish, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the big new house, man. Hope you're doing well today. I hope you're feeling healthy. Um, sounds like Pigeon isn't. Yeah, I had the AstraZeneca, which I'm not supposed to really have for my age group. So I, I'm going to meet for my next vaccine, which my, me and my dad are both going to, um, to ask the doctor, like, is it safe to get another one? Like, what are the stats now? Because they didn't know that much. You know, the, the new information that it wasn't good for people my age group came out the day I got my vaccine. So um, I need to speak to them and be like, is it, now I've had my first one, what are the risks that the next one's going to fuck me up? Because this one's been fine, but it doesn't give me great hope, you know? Do you produce or experiment with producing your own music? I do produce my own music. Uh, hold up. Yeah, I do produce my own music, which is cool. Um, and it's really fun. I produce on Ableton, but I used to use uh, Logic. Love the Fully Cully poster. Thank you so much. Fully Cully is probably my favorite anime. Um, maybe it's in my top five. It's in my top five. I said uh, I like. I said on the EG, IG that the duality of women personified. I was just talking about that. That is the trippiest compliment I've ever got. But thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it. Um, do you produce or experiment with producing your own music? I'm currently working on a couple of fiction novels. That's amazing. I used to produce music and do a little bit of engineering. Yeah, it's good. It's good fun. It's good fun. I enjoy it. I don't really do the engineering side, um, but in Britain, you do more of the engineering aspects than Americans do, um, which is cool. I got both doses of Pfizer and I'm fine. I was only symptomatic for a day. That's super good. AstraZeneca, unfortunately, isn't like Pfizer. It's really bad for your age group. It can give, my age group, it can give you blood clots in the brain um, and I got so sick from it but I was fine later on I think I should be okay but I really want to check with the doctor and make sure I just want to hear everything that the doctor has to say about the new information and the new stats that they have since last time I went and really measure it because obviously I don't want to risk my life uh, more than we all already are at the moment so as much as I can not do that I will hopefully I can mix the two vaccines that would be a dream if like that's okay to do that but it's difficult because we're, we're running on things, you know, so much information that is just coming out. But it should be a little better now because vaccines have been around a lot longer now. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But thank you for the fully fully compliment. I often feel like Nauta. When I was younger, I really felt like Nauta. Um, so I just got my second shot. Jeez, what did you, what kind of vaccine did you get? I have to leave the stream. Bye, Lindex. Thank you so much for being here and just uh, chilling with us. Um, like I said, you can go follow me down below our Twitch. Follow me on Spotify for this next release out in three days. But thank you so much, Lindex, for coming, regardless of whether you do those things or not. I appreciate your presence. Bye for now. I use FL Studio for producing. I'm thinking about starting using uh, Fruity Loops just to see like what the vibe is like. Um, I think that would be cool. Yeah. I don't remember which vaccine it was. Well, that's fine, man. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're going to be safe, right? You'll be able to actually go out and not wear a mask and be safe, you know? We hope. God willing. <sighs> God willing. That's not a phrase I would usually say. Ugh.
first one slight headache and kind of tired yeah the first time i got it quite bad but i had had it before and apparently if you've had the back you've had it before then when you get vaccinated obviously your body's like i remember what this is i'm going to attack it real hard so you do tend to get quite sick because getting heated up helps all the things in your body fight the virus that's why you get heated up so um yeah but it only lasted for a couple of days everybody get their vaccines please remember to do that anyway dudes this has been fun but i think it's probably around time for me to go so i'm gonna peace out um like i said you can mainly find me on twitch um and i'll probably be in there in a couple of days to play this fortnite um game and uh while my song's there on fortnite radio which will be really cool um i also have a new song out called tank girl in three days that i'm really hyped about but there'll be more on that i'll definitely share that with you follow me on instagram if you don't and please stay